Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Uh, here we are before the uh, pivotal fight. Uh, once again, obviously that was not what you were intended to do uh, on the first playthrough, and as such, I've set us back to the levels we were at before I did any grinding. And uh, you know, we, just, we got all the tabs back, so I can use them on other people that I would care more about. Uh, we're gonna go into this fight uh, pretty much as is, and uh, you might notice I've taken. Uh, I've sort of downgraded Chrono's gear a little bit, and, uh, but still giving him a decent setup. Now let's see. You know, I like Frog, so I'm gonna go ahead and give him some speed of the speed tabs, and this is gonna be permanent. Uh, make him as fast as Ayla, I guess. This is the Hall of the Mammon Machine. Now's the time to turn back. New. No. And here we go, the same familiar scene that we just saw. We shan't allow thee to meddle with Lavos, Queen. Ayla, come! We're a strong beast! You're... Help! Shkala! What are you doing, Shkala? I need your help here. Sometimes, due to the background going between uh, red, blue, and nothing, the ruby knife, when it comes out, uh, if it comes out on a frame where the color changes, then the orange uh, part of the knife will sometimes turn blue. And sometimes, and, and I'm ashamed, I, <laughs> maybe if I have to re-record this, you'll get to see it. Sometimes when the Master Moon goes into the Mammon Machine, it can turn r blood red. And uh, as a kid, uh, the very first time I ever did this scene, the Master Moon turned blood red when it went into the Mammon Machine. And I thought that that was just how it was supposed to be. Alright, we can get him without leveling. Yeah! Ow. Well, Frog and Ayla live, so they've got him. They've got him. Yeah, they're still alive. We can get him. Take that, fiend. Yeah, critical hit. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. Failed to change fate. Hmm. You waited for it, huh? Oh, snap. Did any of you not see that coming? Honestly, if you didn't see that coming, slap yourself in the face. Because it was about as transparent as a well-cleaned window. He swore long ago that he'd destroy Lavos, huh? Well, what's Magus's beef with Lavos? I mean, he's got blue hair like all these people from Zeal, but I mean, he's from 600 AD, isn't he? A false prophet. You'll be a snack for the great Lavos. Mother, please stop. This power can only end in ruin. Get away from there, Scala. The almighty life force of Lavos lives in all of us. You are a part of it. You cannot change fate now. Oppose me, and I will destroy you also. Help! 
Come, Prophet. Feel the power of love. Uh. Ah, my powers are being drained. I won't be beaten. I survived the darkness to defeat you, Lavos. Take this, Lavos. Ah! I cut him with like a red... Red... Blade? Oof. Oh, didn't work out too well. But, I mean, between that, we, we got some hits on, on Lavos. We did, we did over a thousand damage. No, let loose. Excalibur, you're right. But please escape, Chrono. Humans can't hope to defeat it. So you are Chrono. Why don't you do as Scala says and run away, yelping in terror? Isn't your life precious to you? <laughs> well, Magus. Mm. Haven't given up yet. What do you hope to do? You challenge Lavos with that battered body of yours? See the power of Lavos and feel his wrath. He disintegrated. There aren't any even any 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 atoms left. Just dust in the wind. Now you couldn't beat us. <laughs> so what made you think you could beat him? And you couldn't beat us, even with your powers not drained. I mean, sure, we had a sword that made you weaker, but... Well... The last of my pendant's power will send you to safety. I know you can't forgive her, but... Please don't hate Mother, or our kingdom. And Scala is an angel. She's still trying to do PR for the, the people of Zeal. I wonder why Magus cares about it, though. I mean, I guess they both do have blue hair. Hmm. I wonder why she didn't teleport herself. Maybe that was all the power she had. Uh-oh. Kind of reminds me of Atlantis, you know, the myth of Atlantis, uh, super advanced ancient kingdom with technological marvels, and a volcano erupts, and then the, the kingdom is submerged in the ocean, never to be seen again. Tidal wave. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. God, I hope the audio on this is okay. <laughs> Sorry, that's like all I can think about because of how easily it just fucks up.
I think it might be the emulator, but I don't really know. Hmm. Well, they were forced to witness it, huh? What hast thou done with Chrono? Oh, come on, you were there, Frog. I know you were kind of, you know, at the end of your the rope, but you saw him get disintegrated, just like me. Well, you can't really find what's been disintegrated. This island was the only refuge left after the Ocean Palace disaster. When the disaster struck, an eerie black portal materialized. Melchior tried to save Janus, but he was also dragged in. A black portal? Like one we stepped through? That maiden Scala, whither hath she gone? I don't know. No one has seen her since. Where Flash? Flash alive? Your ship is quite sturdy and safe. It's almost as if it followed you here. Oh. Uh, this must be yours. Tis the pendant Chrono kept. It was at your side, like a guardian. Ah, I guess Chrono never gave it, really gave it back to Marley, huh? Well, we could bring in anyone we want. Um... Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll we'll bring in Marley for now. Got Frog leading the way. Okay, so let's switch him back over to something else. Uh, perhaps the dash ring or something? Uh, let's see. Who has my dash ring? Probably Robo. Let's set Ayla back to the charm top. And we'll definitely want to get a speed belt on Marley. Lumen Robe has magic defense, which I don't really care about right now. Oh, I guess, uh, I guess Chrono's equipment comes back into your inventory automatically. That's kind of sad, honestly. Yeah, yeah, let's get a load vest, I guess. Okay, give me that dash ring, you beautiful robot that on Frog so that he can have capped speed. You know what, we'll give a speed tab to Ayla as well. And as far as power tabs go, uh, I'm gonna still save them for now. Uh, okay, let's look at our techs. Okay, Frog's already got Frog Squash. So I guess we could kick him out of the party to, to get other people to learn stuff. Hmm. Tail. Yeah, Marley needs to learn stuff. Mega Bomb, Shock. Uh, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I guess... I guess even though I just gave him stuff, uh, we can... We can get, uh, someone else in the party. We need... We need people that, that need their tech points still to come along. Let's take Luca. One good thing about Chrono being dead is that just the fact that, um, just the fact that he uh, no longer takes up a space, and we can finally more evenly distribute our tech points. I know that sounds cold, but well, this is the end of an ice age, so it is cold. Huh. So some of the some of the people of Zeal lived. I guess I guess the ones with more with more powerful magical powers could teleport themselves to safety. Or maybe they got on the Blackbird. Bye. Now uh, this guy sells uh up to full tonics, that's pretty good. And uh but we don't really need anything right now, so. Let's see. You gonna leave the cabin? Can I run around this side? I want to get that 
that tab, whatever it is. Well, this is like a random number thing, like, you come into the hut, and uh, there's like a, I don't know, like a 1 in 10 chance for him to just like start walking out. You know, wait about 10 seconds, and I think, I think maybe you gotta talk to him first, like you're gonna buy something, and he's more likely to go, but it'll take a few tries here. Come on, dude. I've never had it take more than like two or three times. I tell you that I'd edit it to the point where he gets out of the way, but like, I don't know how to edit, so. Well, I guess more accurately, I don't have an editing program, apparently. A five, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, a ten, a eleven. Come on, you stupid new! This would happen to me. There he goes. And we get a magic tab. You can come back and get that magic tab at pretty much any time, though, so if you're impatient right now, just, you know, you can come back later. Let's see, we've got a North Cape. It's kind of scenic. And come back here later. Commons, huh? How can I survive in this land without my magic? You don't need magic to survive. Besides, you're not alone. So I guess the people of Zeal have lost their magical ability. Well, clearly not everyone did. Bow and pay homage to our new liege, King Dalton. Dalton is such a stupid name. Apologies to anyone named Dalton, but your name is stupid. And again, my, my YouTube, YouTube name is pretty stupid. But, uh, well. Kingdom of Dalton, huh? Are you going to rule the world through massive carpet industry? Well, we didn't have that much money anyway, since we spent most of it on vigil hats. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, hey! They, I guess Dalton took off in the Blackbird. Maybe that's how some of the Zeal people escaped. Breeze come in through there, huh? That weapons were powerless, huh? Tech sick. <laughs> Luca wants sick, then sick. Ooh, Ayla hurt bad. Ayla don't like lie. Hmm. Well, that's how you can get out of your room, like if you want to walk out on the ground level. Um, but this draft here, if you press the A button, you get up in the vents. And you can look down and you can see, like, the layout of the ship without having to interact with any of the guards. And if you go straight down, you get a scene.
They're altering our time machine, huh? Royal Air Throne? Did you even try it out to see what it does naturally? I feel like he didn't, because if he had, he would he, he would go back in time and, you know, possibly, uh, see what, you know, where he's left off. Uh, with Ayla in the party, you can actually run around uh, unimpeded and just fight your way through everything. But if you didn't bring Ayla, well, you can't switch your party right now. See? Everyone's locked out. You can look at Frog and, Ro and Robo, but you can't bring Frog and Robo, so... Normally I like to bring Frog along, but I already learned all his techniques from using him so much already. The upper workings of this, uh... of the ship here can be kind of confusing. I think it's this ladder, though? Yeah. Don't talk to the guard, get the box. It's your first party member's equipment. And, uh, now we can wake him up. Only Ayla and Luca can fight right now. Ayla because... Ooh, learned her dual tech fire whirl. What? We already had fire whirl. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe now that, uh, Chrono's been disintegrated, we have to, uh, make do. But now that we've got two combat-capable party members, we might as well, uh... Go ahead and stop, you know, boogieing around in these vents. Because there's no real advantage to moving around up here, so... Okay... Let's see if I can remember where stuff is. And th there will basically be a box for each, each party member's equipment, and each, um... Like, your money and your items. So there's gonna be, uh, five total boxes to get, I believe. That's a lot of EXP for stuff that dies in one hit. Got the money back. Alright, how much money was that? Let's check it out. Uh, 67,000. Okay, that's respectable. That's a respectable amount of money, I guess. Ah, nuts. Well, maybe we can have Luca kill him with a fire, too. So we didn't lose our magical powers, because ours were gifted to us from Specchio. Although that reminds me, we're in the 30s and I haven't gone and talked to Specchio, so... Well, I don't think we'll we'll get into the 40s anytime soon, so hopefully we won't miss out on that form of Specchio. But if we do, I will do like a bonus episode where I show it up. Using save states. Save states are really, really handy. I, I should have been using them for the whole Let's Play, but... I have not. Okay, is this Marley stuff or the items? Okay, it's Marley stuff. So all three of our party members can fight now. We still gotta get back our items and Ayla's equipment, though. Uh, something that you could do, um, you don't have to go in this order, but if you could find the item chest, that includes all of the equipment that you didn't have equipped. So you could find the item chest and equip everyone with slightly worse gear and have everyone capable of fighting. And that would technically be the only only box you had to open if you if you wanted to, but that's not really a good idea. You should just go ahead and get everything back. Because uh, there's another reason why you want to get everything back. Although it's not really... Um, it's not really clear-cut. Like, I didn't even know about it until my last playthrough of the game. Just because of how far off the beaten path is. But I'll, I'll be showing that soon enough, here. Swing, whack. Hmm. 
Halo's equipment is back. Come on, we got the door open. Kind of funny, these guys all have purple hair, it seems like. Rather than blue. It kind of makes me wonder if they're like... They would have been cast down and been earthbound ones, but they're like Dalton's personal guard or whatever. Don't know how those guys didn't notice this. Ugh, that alarm sound drives me crazy. I love fire too. I actually love Luca. Uh, I even like Marley. I mean, just fine. It's just, well, uh, we're gonna get um, some stuff, and and you'll see why. Like, I'm kind of I've kind of been not using Marley so much, and uh, you know, no character in this game is is, you know, useless, but, uh, it's just, she's not as useful as everyone else. Also, that magic tab, that won't be there until you get all your stuff back. So that's why you'd want to get, go ahead and get all your stuff back. Like, let's say, you know, you knew this part was coming up and, like, you know, you, you don't want to have to deal with, like, getting one of the chests for some reason, so you're like, oh, I know, I'll just, uh, I'll just, uh, you know, I won't care about the money chest or whatever. So, you skip the money chest. Well, congratulations, you don't get a magic tab. Right, like, it's not that big of a deal, obviously, but, I mean, there's only 25 magic tabs in a single playthrough. So, yeah. Like, they're pretty much more valuable than any of the other tabs. As far as, like, actually going to the end game concerns. Speed tabs are still better, but because because you can do multiple playthroughs and you need less of them, uh, speed tabs aren't really as good. Let's see. Let's put Berserker on Ayla. And I don't have a second Berserker, so... Uh, speed belt will have to do, I guess. Or, or you know what, we could, we could put the hit ring on, on Luka. And then we could put the dash ring on Marley. It speeds up. Okay, so these things, these turrets, uh, they're just like the rubbles on Mount Woe. They give 100 tech points. They give a little more EXP. Um, they're also a little more dangerous. But and if you fail to kill them, they self-destruct. And their self-destruct, as far as I remember, it's not painful. But, uh... Like, that you don't get any EXP or tech points if they actually self-destruct, because it counts as them running away. Oh, come on. Yeah, Ayla pulling, pulling her weight. Learned Mega Bomb, learned haste. Excellent. Let's see. Flare's up next, Ice 2 is up next. Ayla's still on Dino Tail. Oh, nice, a crit. Killed it in a single hit. Excellent. What kind of levels are we gonna get here? I don't wanna. I don't wanna get into the 40s. Okay. We'll be fine. We're not gonna get into the 40s. But we are gonna get a mess, mess load of tech points. So. You might want to have uh, saved it in your prison room before coming out here. Uh, you might also want to have, uh, or like, made used a save state if, if you, you know, you were playing on an emulator, which wouldn't surprise me if you were. Come on! Yeah! You can actually run into multiple turrets at the same time. And it's kind of a bad thing because they all have like the same turn counter for self-destructing. 
so you want to try to run into them one at a time so that you can actually get them killed. Also, if I'm honest, I usually skip doing these because I find them to be annoying. But I have so many people that need tech points that, well, I might as well. Oh, Antipod 2, Cube Toss, excellent, excellent. Let's wait for that one to go off screen, maybe. It doesn't matter if we really get them all or not, but I just want to kind of try to... You know what? If, if we only get one out of this battle, whatever. Maybe Ayla will crit one, and then, like, we'll just get lucky with crits or something. You already locked those. Alright! That's a crit. Got a hit. Got a miss. Got a hit. Excellent, excellent. Come on now, girls. Yeah, yeah. I love Ayla. She has an extremely high accuracy rate. 200 tech points at once! Woo! That's beautiful. Well on her way to learning triple kick now. Luca's almost got flare. Marley's moving on up to get cure too. Let's see, is there no no more? Okay, there's no more. Let's get that berserker off of Ayla and put the charm top on her. And we'll put a speed belt back on on Luca. We'll give we'll give her and Marley equal speed. Even though they don't have an equal place in my heart. Now actually as a kid I was I was enamored with Marley and I, I liked Luca okay, but I liked Marley a lot better because you know, pretty blonde girl or whatever. But as I got older I, I kind of fell in love with Luca. So Let's show off uh, Antipode 2, or in Japanese, Reaction Bomb 2. Oh, I was about to count it, come on now. I know you got a magic tab in there somewhere, you fool. Well, that looks pretty cool. That's a mixture of Ice 2 and Fire 2, by the way. Let's see. Let's show off Mega Bomb. And I think we saw it during the Magus fight, but I'll show off Ice 2 anyway. Man, that was almost as strong as Antipod 2 by itself. Well, Ice 2 looks cool. Let's try stealing again. Uh, we'll show off this fire whirl if, uh... I thought we could steal a magic tap from this guy, but I guess maybe I'm remembering wrong. Now this is a cool double tap. Oof. Oh, and strong. Ooh. Let's, uh, let's haste Ayla and see if she can't... I'll try stealing, I don't know, three more times or something. And I'll show off Protect for no reason at all. Hmm. Maybe there's just nothing to steal. It's not going to do much damage, but I'll show off Dino Tail. Oh, did he run away? Wow, he ran away. I didn't realize he'd do that. Oh well. It's not like we needed the EXP from him anyway. The Arrow Dalton Imperial, huh? Oh. Fourth wall break. Unless his men were actually playing music. So you have liftoff, Houston? <laughs> I wonder what that line is supposed to be in Japanese.
but Dalton didn't kill Chrono. Uh, we still have Twin Charm. Power Meal, huh? I have no idea what that does. Cube toss, because why not? Use a lapis. Damn. Oh, your golden boss ain't coming. I wonder if that was a gate, or if he's just, like, stuck in his golem dimension now, or whatever. You gotta actually press the Y button, by the way, when they tell whoever's your lead party member to hit the Y button. Nothing happens until you press it. I was really confused about that when I was a kid. Do I make a w joke about women being able unable to drive here, or do I just not shoot myself in the foot? I'm kidding, of course. The, the, the controls got... they got, uh... rewired by Dalton's upgrades. Flash become bird! I needed a remodel anyway. Aw, all Marley can think about is Chrono. <laughs> Ayla's logic is that, like, Chrono's as strong as she is, so of course he can't die. Okay, well... I love having Luca in the party, but let's... Nah, we'll keep Luca in the party, but let's switch over to Frog real quick. I want, want Fro Frog to lead me. Oh yeah, if you didn't, uh, if you didn't talk to this chick about the sapling back in Zeal, uh, you can talk to her about it now, and you can unlock that side quest now if you if you missed it. Hey, that purple cat wasn't that uh, Janice's cat? Suspicious looking person up on the North Cape. Okay. Stranger trying to locate someone passed by after you left. No one had ever seen the person who came looking for you. Could he have been a friend of yours? Well, if no one had ever seen him, I mean, he, all of the Earthbound ones saw Chrono, and most of the Zeal people did too, so it can't be Chrono. I think the new sells new weapons now? Yeah, he sells... a hurricane? What? But they also, they sell Aeon suits now. So we could get a third one of those. Uh, but we don't really need to. And he also sells mid ethers now. So those are pretty worthwhile if you, you know... Like, this game just sells you ethers. Like, it's pretty nice. Well, let's go check out that North Cape, shall we? Oh, it's Magus. Behold, everything's at the bottom of the sea. Gone is the magical kingdom of Zeal, and all the dreams and ambitions of its people. I once lived there, but I was another person then. To 
interdimensional war. This power is beyond human control. I guess this is how it went originally. Time gate, huh? Huh. <laughs> so Magus is Janus. That makes... Let's see. Marley's not using her real name. Frog's not using his real name. Robo's not... Well, I mean, I named him, but he's still technically not canonically using his real name. Uh... And... I guess that's it. Uh, but three out of... Three out of seven people aren't using their real name here. Huh. Getting a lot of meat out of this scene. So thou art... Thou art that filthy urchin! Ever since Lavos' time portal stranded me in the Middle Ages, I have waited to even the score. You interrupted me just when I had summoned Lavos to my castle. How ironic that, having been drawn into yet another portal, I would end up in this age. Being from the future, my knowledge of the past enabled me to convince the Queen that I was a mighty oracle. But no history book could have prepared me for what happened here. Unimaginable is the power of Lavos. Anyone who dares oppose it meets clear certain doom. At this rate, you too will meet a hideous fate, just like that poor fool, Chrono. It's kind of funny that he calls Chrono a fool, but I mean, like, you tried too, buddy. You were just as foolish. He's history. Play a fire and you get burned. Magus, hold thy tongue! You wish to fight me? If you fight him, Frog will fight him one-on-one. -on -one, uh, and you'll kill him! And, uh, we don't want to do that. But maybe make a save state here? Vanquishing thee will neither return Chrono nor Cyrus. He doesn't... he's unresponsive. Okay. Wait. I'll come with you. Treachery! You know, there just might be a way to bring him back. N nonsense! Gaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. Oh! Looks like he's joining the party. He's got pointy ears. Red eyes. Well, that is a very yes. Magus is an insanely powerful party member. Although, he does have some drawbacks. Okay, So his base speed is 12. Uh, he comes with a helmet that's worse than an Aeon helmet. So, let's go get that Vigil hat from, uh, from Ayla. Oh, it's, uh, oh, no, 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 it's, uh, just, uh, put on a ruby vest, yeah, yeah, works. Okay, it comes with a dark scythe, raven armor. I guess his raven armor is pretty good. An amulet, the amulet, uh, it does status protection, just like a vigil hat. And if you, if you hadn't done the side quest yet, it would be, uh, your best bet. Um, Magus here, if you look at his stats, he has the highest magic defense, and the highest uh, natural magic stat in the game. Uh, he has higher magic than Luca, and he and Luca are the only characters that naturally will cap their magic stat without the addition of tabs. So that's pretty cool. Now let's give him this black rock here to invoke the triple tech Dark Eternal, and then let's see if we can actually do it yet. We can't. Well. Remember how Lavo strained his powers? Well, Magus has to learn his techs all over again now. So, 
He actually comes with Lightning 2, Ice 2, and Fire 2, but unfortunately, he can't perform any of the dual techs. They, they decided to balance him out by giving him naturally higher magic multipliers on these spells to make up for the fact that he can't dual tech with basically anyone. He, he has no dual techs. That's his, that's his main drawback. But through the use of items, you can invoke triple techs. Uh, and some of the triple techs that he has, you have access to with him in the party are the strongest triple techs in the game. But you'll need to learn his techs first. So he's going to be in our party for basically the rest of the game. Uh, also note, um, the magic multipliers on his level 2 spells are 7.5. His magic stat times 7.5, as opposed to Marley, Luca, and Chrono, and Frog, whose level 2 spells, their magic multiplier is only 5.75. So Magus just has better magic. And uh, quite frankly, his physical attack isn't worth jack shit, so I am going to give him all of magic tabs. Yes, this is technically not really that good of a thing to do with magic tabs, but I really don't care. I am a Magus Stan, I guess. And we'll go ahead and give him speed tabs, too. And there you, there you have it, he's got 68 magic now. Beautiful. Although, I guess since we can't have Dark Eternal yet, because he doesn't have the techniques, we go ahead and give him a different uh, piece of equipment. Um, let's go ahead and, I guess, just cap his speed with the bandana. Might as well. And when he dashes, he floats. Which, as a kid, I thought was the coolest thing ever. Like, But also, sad story is, as a kid, uh, I missed getting him on my first playthrough. I thought he was a bad guy. I didn't really pay attention to the fact that he had his own motivation and that like basically due to a lack of communication on his part and the hero's part they should have been working together the whole time and I killed him I killed his ass so yeah and if you want to you can come back here and you, you know that new it, it had the hurricane you could buy him a slightly better weapon the hurricane scythe he uses sides, but uh, it's not really worthwhile, so I wouldn't bother with it. But uh, I think I'm going to wrap up there for now. Uh, that's quite enough. So next time, we'll find out what Magus meant about, hey, how can we get Chrono back? So until then, uh, stay safe. Have a great day. I'm Alex Revire. Like and subscribe if you'd like. And I'll see you again.